Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's class which is a slow and stretchy vinyasa flow. It's going to be perfect for any time of the day, morning, afternoon or evening. It's just a class um, which I've designed to make you feel good. So without further ado, we'll get started. I did just want to mention, um, if you are enjoying these videos, then please give them a like, and of course subscribe to my channel to stay notified with new videos. I tend to post three times a week. Um, it'll really help my channel, and we can spread the yoga word and good yogi vibes together. Thank you. Let's start at the end of our mats in our Thunderbolt pose, interlacing the fingers together, and just allowing the hands to rest. Inhale, drawing long from the base of the spine up to the crown of the head. Exhale as you soften the shoulders and relax the face. Just following that flow of breath, bringing your mind into the present moment as we take this time to set an intention for our practice. Our intention is to stay with the body and with the breath. To stay in the now, in that place of peace. And to draw the mind back every time that it wanders. Set that intention before you begin this practice. Inhale, keeping the fingers interlaced. Press the palms all the way up to the ceiling. Inhaling, growing tall. Exhale as you lean to the right. Feeling that gentle stretch all the way through the side of the body. Inhale, come back to center, push up through the palms. Exhale to the left. Come all the way back to center. Inhale. Exhale, this time releasing the hands either side of the knees. Tucking the toes underneath, hips distance apart. Exhale as you roll up to your ragdoll. Find the elbows, let the crown of the head drop. Let it all go here, allow your body to be heavy. Maybe find some gentle movements from left to right. All tension melting from the face, from the shoulders. flat back, open the chest, exhale forward fold, hands coming behind the backs of the shins, two more, inhale halfway, lengthen through the spine, big exhale forward fold, inhale halfway, Exhale to fold, let's hold it here, three breaths. Uh, inhale, halfway this time, see if the fingertips can come to the mat. And then start to walk out to your plank. Good, knees down or lifted, exhale through your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, and just pause it here, open, broad through the chest. Exhale, into your first downward facing dog. Take your time here, bend into the knees, pedal out the feet. Just feel into the body and take any movements that feel good to you. stillness in that downward facing dog, just drawing the heels closer down towards the mat. Inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog, square the hips, flex that right foot. 
Good, step the right foot between the hands. Inhale as we rise up, warrior one. Palms pressing together. Good, stay active through the arms. See if you can lift the gaze to the thumbs. Keep drawing left hip forward, pulling right hip back. Nice bend into the front knee. Then straightening into that front leg, draw the palms to the heart center. Keep the hips square. Inhale here, exhale, we're gonna hold halfway. Nice straight line from the crown of the head down to the tailbone. and see if you can keep the palms Press together and extend the arms forward, holding strong here. Exhale, release the hands, either to blocks or either side of the right foot. Keep the hips nice and square, and maybe step that back foot in just a little bit closer. Inhale, grow tall through the spine. Exhale to fold. It's so coming into pyramid pose, accepting. Wherever your body is here, a deep stretch for the hamstring, and use the breath to guide you through any discomfort in the physical body, as long as there's no pain. Yoga is about finding peace and stillness amidst that discomfort in the body. And then in our lives, we can find that stillness and that peace again amidst the discomfort. Let's send the gaze forward. See if you can keep the fingers either side of that right foot as we start to extend the left leg behind us. Try and keep the hips square. We're focusing on the hamstring. So you might not be able to lift that back leg as high. And start to draw the forehead towards the right shin, standing splits. You can have a play around, take the right hand to the back of the right leg. Good. Holding strong here, one more breath. Good. And then releasing, stepping back with the left toes. Inhale, rising up, hands to heart centre, high lunge. Back toes stay tucked underneath, hips facing forward. Uh, just taking a breather here and then start to extend the arms up, palms pressed together. Lift the gaze, look up towards the thumbs, working on the balance. And then exhale as we open the arms, twisting towards that right leg. Send the gaze back towards the left thumb. Left hand coming down in line with the right foot. I'm going to turn the toes to face the long edge of the mat, coming into hip dips as we exhale, lower the hips down, let the arm follow, inhale, lift the hips, extend the arm, a beautiful stretch of the outer hip and the glutes, exhale, inhale, make this nice and flowy and smooth, exhale, inhale, last one, exhale. Inhale, lifting the hips and holding. Reach those fingertips a little further away. And turning the toes to face forward, frame the right foot with the hand. Step back to plank. Exhale through your vinyasa. Inhale, up with facing dog. Good, exhale, down with facing dog. Holding here, taking a breather in your down facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts, three legged dog, square the hips, flex that left foot. Step the left foot through, inhale as we rise up, warrior one, left side. Lifting the gaze up towards the thumbs, keep, keep squaring off the hips, pressing those palms together. Drawing the palms down to the heart centre as we start to straighten out that left leg. Folding from the hips. Holding it halfway. Keep those hips square. See so if you can start to extend the arms forward. Make those back muscles work. Stay 
strong here. And exhale to release. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Maybe step that back foot in a little closer. Exhale to fold. Notice how this side feels compared to the other. And find yourself in complete acceptance of wherever your body is today. You are exactly where you need to be. Keep drawing that right hip down, left hip back, one more breath here. And then send the gaze over those left toes, starting to pivot forward. Sending the gaze over those left toes, see if you can keep the hands where they are. Right leg lifts, keep the hips square. And start to draw the forehead towards the left shin. Play around with the hands. Holding for three breaths. And then slowly with control, stepping the right toes back. Inhale as we rise all the way up, lifting to a high lunge on our left side. Palms at the heart center. Inhale, start to extend the arms, lifting the gaze. Keep pressing the palms together. And exhale as we twist open towards that left leg, sink a little bit lower. Send the gaze towards the left thumb. Next exhale, that right hand is coming to the mat. In line with the left foot, turn the toes to face the long edge of the mat. Exhale to lower the hips and the arm. Inhale to lift. Good. Exhale. Let that breath move the body. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, last one. Inhale, let's have a holding. Squeeze those hips a little bit higher. Reach those fingers a little further away. And then turn the toes to face forward, frame the left foot with the hands. Step the left foot back to plank. Exhale for your chaturanga. Inhale, up facing dog. Good, exhale, down facing dog. Good, breathe out here. Heels down towards the earth. And send the gaze towards the hands. Step the left foot forward. Inhale as we rise all the way up, finding warrior two on our left leg. External rotation from the hips and the thighs. Chest and shoulders nice and open. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Engaging the core, inhale, lift back up to warrior two. We're gonna straighten out that front leg. Reach forward and down, finding triangle pose. Have a play around with the position of the hand. Maybe you want to try and reach down towards the big toe. But just make sure that right hip just not drop in. Maybe see if you can float that right arm up and over the ear. Chest staying lifted. Tagging that core. Inhale as we start to bend into that front knee, coming back into our warrior two stance. Interlacing the fingers behind the back. Inhale, open the chest, draw the hands down. Exhale, humble warrior. So folding to the inside of that left leg, let the crown of the head drop. And see if those arms can follow. Dropping to the inside of that left leg. So try not to rest onto the thigh. Let's find three breaths here. Keep drawing the arms back. And then pressing through that left foot. Inhale, draw the body all the way up. Open that chest one last time. Release the arms, warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel the hands. 
around that left foot. Turn onto the right toes. We're going to draw the left leg back. Knee like a plank. Keep it lifted. Bend into the left knee. Step the left foot over the right leg. Lower the hips. Exhale. Inhale. Lift the hips. Finding wild thing. Opening the chest. Let the arm and the head be nice and heavy. And slow and with controlled. And then slow and with control come back to your plank. Exhale through your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Good. Send the gaze towards the hands, right foot steps forward. Inhale as we come all the way up, warrior two, this time on our right side. Strong in our warrior two. Let that front palm reach forward, inhale, reverse that warrior. Good, tighten the core, coming back to warrior two. Straighten out that front leg, reach forward. Exhale into triangle pose. Whatever variation you took on the other side, try it on this side. Maybe extending the arm up. Of course, you can find a full bind here. Just enjoying that stretch through the side of the body. One more breath here. And then tightening that core. So the core is lifting us, not the lower back or the side body. Inhale as we come up, bending into that front knee. Warrior two. Good, interlace the fingers behind the back. Inhale to open the chest, draw the hands down. Exhale to fold. Good, take the arms with you. Let the crown of the head drop. Good, three breaths here, keep that knee drawing over the ankle. Hands. 
to the left toes underneath. Pull that right leg back to plank. Exhale through your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts, three leg dog, point the toes. Three times, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Perfect, this is the last one. We're holding a little bit longer. Draw the knee to the nose. Good, three, two, one, and release into that pigeon pose, left side. Extend that right leg away. Maybe coming down to the forearms, maybe staying on the hands. Draw that right hip down. And find three nice deep abdominal breaths here. that left glute. We're going to extend the legs to the long side of the mat. It's coming into a wide leg pose. Get a nice little stretch for the side of the body. Take the left hand down to the inside of the leg or the left forearm. Inhale, right arm comes up and over. To advance it, catch the inside of the foot and then the outside of the foot. Draw the elbow back and open the chest. But if you lose the opening through the shoulder and the chest, lift up a little bit higher. Just feeling that lengthening all the way through the side of the body. But be mindful not to overstretch. Engaging the core, drawing the right arm down, inhale to lift all the way up. Exhale, change sides. Drawing their left shoulder back, keep opening up the chest. Good. Tighten the core, let the left arm come down. Inhale, draw all the way up. This time we're folding to the center. Take cushions or props if you need them coming forward. You can stay on the hands, maybe you're just here. Maybe you're working it down to the forearms. Find yourself again in acceptance of whatever your body is. Let the eyes float closed. And just allow the breath to guide you here. And if you feel a release into the body, if you feel like you can come down a little bit further, then do so. rest onto the belly. This is going to be our finishing pose. If this gets too much, you can release back to your Shavasana. We're just working to relax the body here. So bringing awareness to the face. And we hold so much tension in the face without realizing. Notice how it feels to allow all of that tension to melt away. Shoulders resting heavy. Become aware of the hands rising and falling on the belly. Relaxing deep into the hips, the glutes, the thighs, 
allowing gravity to open out the knees, release any stagnant energies, any tension from the hips. And connect back to the rise and fall of the belly and just stay here for a few moments, making that the only thought for the mind. Knowing that for these few moments there is nowhere else for you to be, nothing else for you to do. rocking the knees from left to right. Rolling all the way onto the side of the body, pressing through the palm as you gently come back to a seated position. But take your time, there is no rush. Meeting with the eyes closed and the hands together at the heart center. Just closing this practice by sending gratitude to yourself arriving here on your mat today, for taking time out to devote it to both your body and your mind. And gently we're going to rub the palms together, creating a little bit of heat between the hands. Allow the palms to hover over the face and just notice what you can feel. Be aware of your energy. Know that you are so much more than just your physical body. Allow in that external world as you open the eyes, look to the ceiling, look to the mat, to the left, and to the right. Draw the palms away, wash the hands, and send the energy over the head, down the arms, into the legs. Namaste. Namaste.